It's snowing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, hi. I got another Amazon package yesterday. They are little fruit keeper things. This is what I've been using to keep my fruit in usually. It's amazing. It has like a little insert. I looked these up and they're $16 per container, which is so expensive. Oh my God. We have two of them that we got for Christmas. So I didn't buy them originally, but I needed more because we buy fresh fruit and herbs and all that like every single week. So I got this thing on Amazon. These are so, so perfect. Oops, that's huge, love that. But they also have a little one as well. This is also gonna be so great for the garden. I also have all of this bulk stuff here that I need to put away. So let's do that now. gonna go on a little bike ride. I think we're gonna go ride to the garden and see what that's like. We have not done that yet. And oh, my girlfriend's gonna be coming with me on her bike. Hers is not electric. And then after that, we're gonna go to a garden center. I gotta get some soil to plant the monstera that I was propagating. It's like totally ready to go in a pot and I don't have any soil. So I gotta go grab some and I need to go grab some seeds that I forgot to buy. And you know, just check out the, the garden center and see what they have. I haven't been to this one so it'll be interesting to see what they have to offer here's the bike when it's all folded up it looks hilarious <laughs> I put this basket on a little bit off, which is totally not like me. I don't know what I was thinking. I do have to redo it, but that's for a different day. green starting to grow so pretty that stump chewed on by a muskrat look at the keys and the ducks oh i love the nature noises that's a big tree huge tree oh it's like their little den oh look why does it look like a bear should be living in there i don't like that at all This is so cute. I would live here. Can we move here? Oh my gosh, the woodpecker. Look how cozy this is. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Here's the garden. It is March 10th on a Sunday. We get to go in here April 6th. So less than a month I can get my hands in this dirt. We are starting seeds next week. So exciting. <gasps> I can't wait. Oh, 
Also, it says notice this table is gluten free, and I don't know what that means. Well, their whole thing is gluten free. Oh, okay. It's like a joke. Oh, I thought it meant like only people who have gluten free food can sit here. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, then that's good. Every single item in there is gluten free. Yeah. I got a vanilla lavender iced coffee with oat milk and my girlfriend got I think a vanilla iced coffee with oat milk and a veggie burrito. This place has vegan options as you can see from the sign behind me which is so cool like I love this place. It's on the way to the garden center so we're gonna go there after we take a little break here. Oh, I've never seen these before. Mm. Corn flour. Look at these. What is the brand? High Desert Seed Gardens. Mm. Paonia. Paonia. Mm. Oh, I hear a cat. It seems stressed. Let's focus here. Ooh, Ooh that's so cool. Corn. Are those candles? Spicy up. Oh. Hey, look at the seed pops. Oh, shit. <laughs> keep running th into things with my bike helmet. We have onions here. Ooh, a shallot would be cool. Okay, let's look at them. Uh, we have cipollinis, which are like small, but they're sweet, which I love. We just have normal yellow onion, and then we have red onion, and they, no, no white onion, because that's disgusting. No. 80 sets, fall harvest. Okay, so that's good. Then potatoes. Old. Hey, this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Onions, potato. There you go. Chiogia. Chio I don't, uh, I'll learn how to pronounce that at home. This plant is so cool. Oh my God. $44.99. So beautiful. Look how beautiful that plant is. Oh, ow. This thing just hit me in the head. I love ferns, but I feel like they die easily. So as much as I want this setup, I don't think I can do it because the ferns will die. But I love, I think that's an Audrea behind it. Audrey? Audrey. Did I say Audrey yet? Mm -hmm. No. Ficus? I think Ficus Audrey. Something like that. Zebra plants. Beautiful. Whoa. Ooh, snake plants. Oh, oh. We have this at home, but it's only like a twig right now. <laughs> but it's growing. It's getting there. Oh, wow. This one, the whale. The yeah, we whale, do. Whale a whale, tail, a whale, whale fin. fin. We have it, and I got it for like twenty yeah, or something. Tomorrow. And this one's eighty dollars. <laughs> Holy hell! Mine has a bunch of babies, and I think I got it for twenty something. It was like it, it's because it's like dying. Oh my gosh! Well, that's so cool. Ours ravens easy right there. We have one, and it's like so dying. It hasn't given me any new growth in probably over a year and a half. These look so beautiful, thick. Read the last sentence of that sentence. The slow growing ZZ likes to be kept dry and seems to thrive on neglect. Oh, so should I just neglect it? I have it in the sun and I really try to take care of it, but apparently I should just leave it alone. I also would love a green one. I don't have a green one. Some cacti, some jade plants. I stole my jade plant from Santa Barbara. Uh, fun fact about that. Ooh, these are cool. Oh, this is so cool. <gasps> wow, so that goes on top. It's $300 and then you put your dirt in here, which is cool because you can just keep your dirt in there and keep it dry. Oh, a veg truck. I really would love a potting up station. I just don't. We don't have the room. $80. That thing is beautiful. Is this a Hoya? What is it? What are you? It's like, I think it's a Hoya, but it's huge. Yeah, oh my gosh. So, so, this so pretty. Is so cool. I actually oh, like that. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> wow. It would be really cute for flowers. Holy. We got two bags of potting soil for the Monstera and other things. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Soil is in here and we are gonna go back home. Should be interesting. I think we're like almost four miles away, so yay. Oh my gosh. The pedal hit my leg. Ow, dude. Woo. Oh my god. We had to stop by McDonald's and get water because I didn't bring any water. I almost did, but I couldn't find a water bottle and then I just gave up. So stupid. I know, I'll bring water next time and sunscreen. Really need to bring sunscreen. Oh, the sun, the sun. Hello, everyone. Uh, we are back from the bike ride. We did about 10 miles or something and I was fine because I was on an electric bike, except for the last 
half mile my battery ran out uh, it was like a little bit above half and then yeah the last half mile my battery ran out and i had to walk it up a hill along with my girlfriend she was also walking her bike which is not electric oh it was a little rough but we made it we are back home and let me show you what i got at the garden place which I mean, you already saw but let's like we'll go over it again look at this beats oh we got to figure out how to pronounce this let me figure that out is it working pronouncenames.com kyoja 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 all right, so we got Kyoja. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> we got Kyoja. These beets are so good. These are my favorite. They are not super earthy tasting like the normal red beets. They're a little bit sweeter, I think, and I just love them so, so much. They also call them candy stripe beets. I planted rainbow beets last year, and I really, really loved these ones from that batch. These were my favorites, as well as the white and the yellow ones. They're both a little bit less earthy than the, the red ones. We also got these potatoes. We got little, like, yellow yellow potatoes, six seed potatoes, late summer harvest. It says size B. I don't really know what that means. Should be pretty good. We love yellow potatoes. Those are our favorite. We got yellow onions, Stuttgarta, Stuttgarta. I think that's how you say it. 80 sets of yellow onions, fall harvest, size number one. It says this is what they look like. I don't know what I'm going to do with 80. Maybe I'll give it away to some people at the garden if they need some because I don't think I'm going to have room for 80 onions. And then we go outside and we got some soil. I got natural organic potting mix. This is for the Monstera. I don't know if this is the correct, but I do have some stuff to mix in with it. Little white rocks. I can't think of it. I'll do it tomorrow and I'll show you. But anyway, we got two bags of that. We have a little tiny dog right here. Look at him. Wow. He loves this tiny rug. He likes to sit on it and watch people walk by. <laughs> That is all we got at the garden center. Really good to see the community garden again. I'm so excited to start planting things there. Can't wait to start these seeds. And tomorrow I'm gonna repot the Monstera and like a couple other things. I think it's still gonna be really nice out and we'll do it on the patio. It's gonna be so great, I can't wait. See you then. Hey, no, no. So, you're gonna have to go. This is my first time using this mat. I got this a few months ago. It snaps in the corner to kind of create a little box to keep all the soil and stuff in. Hey, drop that. He's trying to eat a Monstera root. Can you go? We are gonna pot up this Monstera. I took a cutting of this a couple months ago and propagated it. This is what it looks like now. It has huge roots, like a massive root system. And I need to get this in soil. I was gonna put it in its own pot and let it establish residency in the new pot, you know, but I think I'm just gonna add it to here because I don't have a pot big enough. So I'm gonna have to conjoin it with this one. I'm gonna have to move this Monstera over a little bit to make room. Wow, that is incredible. Okay, dog, you're gonna have to go, thank you. Sal is so very curious about everything. Always getting into stuff. I have a few propagations here, more than a few, <laughs> that I need to put into a pot, their very own pot. I actually have this beautiful Hoya right here that I would like to definitely get into a pot. The base of the stem of the Hoya froze while it was in the window overnight on accident. It was just on the windowsill and it was so cold out that it froze it. I got to save just the top part, which is lovely. That's kind of cute. I feel like it needs to be in a deeper pot. Here we go. Hoya, got a brand new leaf coming in, so beautiful. This is a tetrasperma and it's been in here for a while and it only has this little root. I still think I'm gonna pot it up and see what happens. Tetrasperma. I have a lot of Monstera adansonii, which are these ones right here. I don't have the mother plant anymore, I only have the cuttings. So I'm so glad I have these. They've been in here for a year and a half now. I definitely think it's time to get these in their own pot. That's a long one. <laughs> 
Adansonii. This is a Scandapsis. I'm gonna try to put it in here. Scandapsis. I hope this thing lives. I just have really bad luck with Scandapsis. Next is a Pothos. It's got a ton of roots. Okay, that's all the dirt I have. And I didn't even have to break into the new stuff I just bought. Probably use that for the patio bed over there. I was totally supposed to repot this aloe. It's been on my list forever and I forgot. So that's good. But this is what it looks like since it's last cutting. It definitely needs to be deeper in the pot, but it's doing okay, I think. As for these pothos, they are doing well. A couple of them have roots and a couple do not have roots. Still waiting for them to get a little bit more developed before we put them in a pot. I still have no idea what's happening over here. None of this is decorated or anything. It's just kind of a place to hold things. I'm not sure which one looks good. Maybe that? 